We looked for a place called the Heat Wave Apocalypse. We never found it. We're not even sure if it existed, but here's what happened. In this video, we're going to the Heat Wave Apocalypse. What is the Heat Wave Apocalypse? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go find out. Change so I'm going on to my phone and I'm gonna change the category to entertainment. So I can bring up a list of uh, points of interest in the neighborhood. Now that I've selected entertainment as my as my category, I'm gonna hit search and it's gonna tell me what's in the neighborhood. Okay, here it is. I'm gonna double click on it. And it's asking me to, to what kind of route I want, so I'm gonna say a pedestrian route. It says turn left on 3rd Avenue. Okay, so I'm gonna turn left and start walking. Okay, so it's telling me to turn right on East 26th Street, so that's gonna be this corner here. Telling me that it's it's 638 feet away. Okay, I'm gonna keep walking. It gave me an update and told me that I'm 500 and something feet away. So it keeps giving me like updates and then tells me to keep walking straight. So so far so good. 332. Yeah, so it's telling me it's northwest, so I think I have to go back to the corner and cross the street. Keep saying 20 feet, but it's been saying that for a while. As I was walking 3rd and 1st Avenues, it kept telling me 20 feet ahead, 20 feet ahead, and even though I kept shaking the device to recalibrate and uh, it kept saying 20 feet ahead. So I probably should have stopped at some point and replotted a new route. So I'm on the north side of 26th Street between 2nd and 1st Avenue. Um, the GPS keeps telling me it's 20 feet, but it's been telling me that for the last half a block, if not more. Um, and it keeps telling me that it, to keep walking ahead. So I'm gonna keep walking, hopefully I'll find it. So it's telling me that it's at 11 o'clock, which I'm assuming means ahead and slightly to my left. I'm just hoping that that's the case because it hasn't given me any new updates for a while. I'm on 1st Avenue, 26th Street. Have no idea if I've gotten any closer because it still keeps telling me I'm 20 feet away. Shaking it up. Yeah, it's telling me 20 feet, 1 o'clock, so it means to my right. I'm standing facing north, so one o'clock would be east. Let's try one more street crossing and then we'll see. So now I just did a recalculation and it told me that it's 800 feet northwest. So apparently I've passed it and, uh, and it never told me that I reached it or if it did, I didn't hear it because of all the excessive street noise. So, and here I am now in front of the Department of Health and this is certainly not the uh, heat wave apocalypse. But I think we're gonna call it quits for the day. So we did a little investigating after our non-encounter with the uh, heat wave apocalypse and we found out a couple of things. Typically under the point of interest screen, the app also lists the address and the distance to that address. Next to Heatwave Apocalypse, however, it said anywhere instead of having an address. We're operating under the impression that this place doesn't actually exist. The Heatwave Apocalypse sounded fun, so we wanted to go to someplace interesting. That's the bottom line. We chose it randomly. It happened to be something that didn't actually have an actual physical address, so we're kind of thinking that it doesn't exist or it exists somewhere in the ether. 
a few of us actually at the office have also done Google searches and have not been able to find any information on it except on Foursquare. When they clicked on it, it didn't show any relevant information. So that's all she wrote.